Hey guys, it's Ashley and in today's video I'm going to be doing a very requested video which is how to make an AGSM. But of course before we get started remember to subscribe, comment down below and like this video if you enjoy it. So let's get into the tutorial. The first step to making a step motion is to come up with ideas. And the way that I come up with ideas is I brainstorm and then I write them in this script book that I have. I got it from the store. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to be doing a demo where Jay just picks up a pillow and walks away. After you come up with a script, you will have to obviously set up a set. So mine is just a simple bedroom set because obviously it's a demo and I don't want to make it too complicated. This is just to display how to make a stop motion, basically. While I'm setting this up, I guess I'll just explain to you guys how I um, write my scripts. So basically, I just have my script book and I write any dialogue or actions that the dolls do um, in there. And then when I make my stop motion, I know what parts go to which dialogue and such. So right now I am filming on my iPad, so that's why it looks different, and I have my script right next to me, so sorry if I'm looking over there because I have all my stuff written down that I want to say and I can't remember it all. So um, everybody has a different preference of how fast or slow they want their stop motions to go. For me personally, I like to have mine fast and smooth. So the next thing you're going to want to do is get a camera and a sturdy surface. You can use anything. You can use your iPod, your iPad. It doesn't even matter. I used to use my iPad, but now I use my Canon Rebel T6i. And um, for a, a tripod, you can just use any boxes that you have. Obviously, since I've been filming for a while, I've um, gotten myself a tripod. It costs about $200, so it was a little pricey. Um, it's a Benro Aero 4. So that's what I'm using, but like I said, you can use anything you want. Um, so I move my doll about, about a centimeter per picture. Um, this process can be quite tedious, so make sure you take your time. And over the times that I've filmed stop motions, like over my learning experience, I've learned that um, the more time that you put into a stop motion, the better it will look and the smoother it will look. So make sure you take your time. So as you can see, I'm moving the doll a very little amount in the time lapse. And if for a smoother effect, you want to make sure you move the doll less and less. So the smoother you want your stop motion to be, the less you need to move your doll. So if you're moving your doll like an inch, it's going to be really, really choppy. So this next section of the tutorial is the most complicated part to explain for me, honestly, because it has to do with like downloading a whole bunch of pictures and all this technology and stuff, but let's just get to explaining it. I use the app iStopMotion on my iPad. Um, I don't know how it works on the MacBook. I think you have to pay for it, but I have the Pro version, which is like a little purple app with like a, a white camera in it. And I think that one is $5, but you can get the blue app, which is totally free. The purple one just comes with more features than the blue one does. So, but since I use my camera, the pictures don't um, automatically translate to my iPad. I need to first download all of the pictures onto my iPad from my camera that I took um, for the stop motion. I need to move the pictures to I stop motion, which then allows me to change the frames per second and stuff like that, which I can't do on iMovie or anything like that. And once you do all of that, once you get all of the pictures onto your iPad and then you move it to um, I stop motion, you can then move the frames per second bar. Um, I crank that up to about 18 to 21 frames per second depending on the look I want. So if I want, let's see, if I want a, uh, if I want to make the doll sit down and I took less pictures for the action, I might want to lower the frames per second because then it might make it look a little bit choppy if that makes sense. I move the frames per second bar up higher if I want the effect to be faster and if I want the doll to be uh, move smoother. So I hope that made sense. Again, you guys can ask me questions down in the comment section if you don't understand something that I'm saying because I hardly understand what I'm saying. And the very last part of this process finally is um, editing on uh, iMovie, which is personally my favorite part because I like to get creative with this. I like to add all sorts of elements to make it seem unique and all this other stuff. So this is where I usually add my dialogue. Sometimes I add it in I stop motion. It just depends on what I feel like. But most of the time I feel like it's an I stop motion, but it can be an iMovie, doesn't matter. 
Um, but yeah, that's where I do all my dialogues and where I add all of, like my um, my tags and all this other stuff to help make the video be more interesting. That was it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and like this video if you enjoy it. Like I said before, I know you guys really were wanting to see this, so I figured I'd make it for you. So I hope it made sense and that you guys enjoyed it. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye!